Hi everybody, in this video we are going to talk about signal filtering because in the last video we watched that the signal, the measurement signals has a lot of noises and the controller don't set uh, that kind of signals. Then we are going to talk about uh, a filter based in ticks and the other one is a promedial filter. And the common filter is no is no allowed in this video, but maybe in the next time we could learn about it. Please like, share, and subscribe to my videos. It helps me to make videos like this. Okay, in this part we are going to talk about the encoder. The encoder calculates the time uh, between ticks. Remember that, uh, that the code that we made in the last videos, we talk about that this time, with this time, calculate the velocity. Uh, the time is between ticks, but uh, this time has have some variations and that makes that it has a lot of noises and that noises goes to, to the velocity. The idea behind this filter is to take, calculate the time, not just in one tick, is try to make it in more ticks, more than one. In the last video we implement two functions. The first one is R encoder and the uh, other one is L encoder. Those functions uh, are activated when uh, the encoder generates a new tick. Then that con uh, function works that generates inside it a, a lot of calculations, uh, something like uh, calculate the time between ticks, calculate the frequency, calculate the velocity, and we are going to make right now to we are going to generate two variables c sub r and c sub l and that c sub r and c sub l inside of that functions makes that this uh, variable incremented this variable is counting the number of ticks that we have in each encoder and that uh, counting we could compare it with a uh, if instruction then in this part are comparated the variable c sub r and c sub l with the with a new variable that is contador ticks. That contador ticks is the number of ticks that we want to achieve. Then that this condition is satisfied that generates in that executes all the instructions that we have in the last video inside of the function uh, of the interruption function. In this part, it is implement the that conditions and the, the counting of the ticks in the uh, right wheel. Uh, so uh, let's program uh, this this uh, code inside of your Arduino and let's go to watch uh, the different uh, filter of signal. Remember. There is a signal that goes to B filter and the other one is doesn't be filter yet. Uh, the red one you could see that it has a lot of noises and the blue one has uh, some limitations. It has noises, noise that is dumb is not big enough like the red one. That is we we defined uh, uh, the counter of ties uh, ticks uh, uh, a small value. If we increment it, we could watch it uh, that the signal has a lower noises. The blue one, you could see that the that the signals are are very stable. Uh, if you compare it with the red one, the red one has a lot of noise and that makes that it hasn't uh, provides a good measurement for a controller and that is the objective you could see that this uh, filter is good enough and we generate the generates a, a good measurement in this part we implemented the filter between in in the two wheels uh, in the right wheel and in the left wheel 
and we we could see if that uh, that works good. In that graph, we have the two signals: the velocity of the left wheel, the velocity of the right wheel, and you could see that the noise is reduced a lot. We have a a, re, a, a reduce a significant reduce of the noise of the signals, and that is amazing for us. That uh, help us to make uh, to make to use that in a controller. But it has some noise that you could see some uh, some variation, but it helps a lot. Right here, we increment the the counter of the ticks, and we could see that this signals has a minus a number of noises. Uh, you could see right there uh, some variations, but the variations are minimums. Uh, if you compare it with the old one signals, that these signals don't have uh, noise uh, at all. Uh, and that is amazing, that is amazing for us. In this part, we are going to talk about another filter. In this time, we, you could see that signal. Uh, that signal in that signal is, uh, has measurements that are the points A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Those are measurements of the signals. But the signals has noises. And we are going to use a filter, a promedium filter. We, are, we want to measure a new uh, measurement. We have to make this new measure that is H. That H measurement uh, is the it's a signal uh, that is measured that, that is measured for 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 the signal for the original signal. But we want to make a promedium filter that signal comes with noises. Then the promedium filters make that you uh, tries to sum all the uh, we have taken count all the variables. In this, in this case, we, we are going to make a sum of the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H is measurements and divides by the number of variables. And that that's a sum makes that is, it is the new measurement. We are going to make that a new H. The age that comes with the measurements comes with noises and we calculate a promedium and we calculate the new age. And that generates that we could use that promedium filter. This is a promedium filter it that takes in count the, the last measurement that we have and that tries that the promedium or that tries that you have uh, uh, some variation that you take in count the variation of your signals in the last uh, in the in, in the last measurement. Something like that is it's so simple. You have to calculate only that that variable and that's it. Okay, but how we are going to calculate that in Arduino? We are going to define a variable tam that is equal to ten. That is the, the size of the vector, and we are going to generate two vectors. The vector L, that is an array. A vector R, R is a, a array too. That uh, those uh, arrays goes to uh, goes to save all the measurement that we have. Re uh, something like that. Uh, the vector L is defined uh, like this array. In this array, we have uh, some measurement A, B, C, D, E, F, and if in this time we have that measurement, and the A, B, C, D, E of the are the last measurement that we have, and F is the uh, measurement that we have in this time. In this time, we we are measuring F variable, but in the next. A step in the next iteration, we have uh, uh, we have that the a variable 
that the A measurement is going to disappear, then B is going to uh, uh, place it in the position of A, uh, C is going to place to a position of B, and there is a movement of the variables, and it comes a new variable. That new variable is G, that is the uh, measurement in this iteration. That uh, movement uh, is generated for, by a 4, that is very easy to make it, and the promedium is calculated uh, with another uh, 4, that is zooming, that is make a, a sum of the old variable that we have inside of the array. And, and that's it, it's too simple to make it a, a promedium filter. Uh, remember, the, that promedium filter is taking in count all the time between ticks. And we could combine the last filter with this filter and is going to help us to make it uh, right our our problem of filtering our signals. In this part, you could see uh, our problem. Uh, we are here inside of a interruption function, and those are the force that we use it to to make a uh, to make to take in count the new measurements and the sum of the variables of the array and, and it's very simple to make it and to calculate that, that mean uh, that generates uh, a variable with uh, lowest uh, noise and you could see that you could see that there is a mean uh, very easy to calculate and I don't know if you have some explanation about it, uh, a bigger explanation, uh, try to write in the comments and I am going to explain it. It, it is so, so easy. So in this part, uh, we, could, we could try to program this, uh, this filter on our, our Arduino. Uh, remembers right here we have in the uh, right encoder we have implemented the two filter the filter of ticks and the filter of promedium and the left wheel it is not uh, it is no filter by a promedium filter try and the right now let's try to compare it our our filter and we could see what are the best if we have right now with this filter with this promedium filter it helps us to reduce our uh, our noise in this part it is defined uh, that the number of tips that we are going to calculate is, is 10 uh, 10 ticks we are going to calculate the interruption time uh, the time between ticks and we are going to use the same in the two function uh, interruption functions and we are going to make it right here to move our wheels with 100 pwm signal and let's go to watch it in, in a graph you could see right, right now that graph there is a red uh, line and a blue line. The blue line ha has a lowest, a lowest noise, uh, like uh, the red one. The red one is the that the signal that only has the first filter, and the blue one it has the two filters, the promedium filter. It is working too. Uh, let's uh, reduce our. Um, our ticks, uh, our number of ticks in this part it reduced uh, to a, a lowest number and you could see right now that the blue one has a, a, a lowest noise than the red one and that makes that our filter, the, the use of the two filters in the wheels are the best option that we have you could see that the the noise 
is reduced a lot with the, this promedium filter. And the red one remembers that it's a filter by the first one filter, but it doesn't enough. In this time, uh, let's try to implement it in the other wheel and let's prove the two wheels using the the promedium that, that mean in two filters uh, right there and then we could program uh, our Arduino and you could see that the two signals has a minimum noise that are the velocities of the left wheel and the uh, right wheel and you could see that this noise is is really really uh, little uh, if you compare it with the last signal that we have that makes that the the filter the tix filter and promedium filter help us a lot to use this signal for our controller and that's it that, that is too simple and that was all that i have to explain this video thank you so much i really like if you share is like and subscribe to my channel